Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Superfuse video, I want to talk to you about the Ice Mastery for the Elementalist. I want to go ahead and just showcase all the skills that you can find on this class, so hopefully you can decide if this is a class that you want to invest into and unlock all of the skills for. There are six skills total, and you do need to be level 24 in order to unlock the final skill, Comet. There is a note at the very end of the skill tree, but I don't see the need to go that far since freeze and chill effects are not very prominent in the current state of the game. Usually you'll finish the story around level 19. That's kind of why I wanted to make this video so you can decide if this is the class and mastery you want to spend your time into to really push through a little bit of that end game content that's there to the level 24 mark. Let's go ahead and talk about the first skill here for the ice mastery and that is frost blades. With frost blades, you'll form ice blades around your arms and strike in the target direction. Every third strike will hit in a radius. So very similar to Frenzy over on the Combat Berserker. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out. This has the tags damaging, spell damage, melee skill, and ice damage. One thing I recently learned is if you're looking for the faster hits fuses here, there's two different versions of this fuse. There's one for cast speed and there's one for attack. So for this one, you would want to use attack since it is indeed a melee skill. Even though it has the spell tag, you're actually attacking instead of casting with frost blades. But let's go ahead and talk about what the skill looks like and how it kind of plays out. When you very first unlock frost blades, this is what it's going to look like. You can see it does exactly as the description says. Two hits and then you have the third strike is that AOE you're seeing right there, a little bit of a radius. Overall, this skill is an okay starting ability. You want to make sure that if you're playing with this skill, you want to have your dash fuse on there so you can dash your target when you use it. Overall, I haven't done a build focused on this skill, but the skill's all right. Melee skills are generally not my favorite other than Tornado because I just feel like they're a little bit clunky. The next skill you can find with the Ice Mastery on the Elementalist is your Ice Shard. And this is going to be your projectile ability. This one's pretty fun. As with projectiles, there's, you know, all your cookie cutter fuses, your fork, split, zigzag, homing, slow down, speed up, ricochet, pierce, I guess is another one. All the, all the ones you would ever use with any of your projectiles. Again, we're not going to do full breakdowns here in the video. I just want to show what the skills actually look like. So again, this is Ice Shard. When you very first unlock it, here's what it looks like. It's literally just an Ice Shard that you throw out of your hands. Here we go. We have Ice Shard. Let's go ahead and throw some fuses in there. We'll go ahead and do a fork, a homing. These are all kind of my cookie cutter projectile abilities that I like to use. Was not a fan of zigzag with this one. And then, of course, your split. I think that's the only split I have. Sure, we'll throw a pierce on there as well. Why not? Another pierce. And then usually, honestly, just go crit. But for the sake of showing off the skill and its projectiles and what it can do, uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. You could also put on Freezer if you want for ice damage. But let's go ahead and show you here. So this is with homing, fork, double split, double pierce. There you go, just one shot them all. <laughs> I guess I am seven levels higher. Maybe I should go over to the solar map. But that's what it's going to look like, your basic cookie cutter projectile ability. The third skill you can unlock with the Ice Mastery on the Elementalist is Chill. This unlocks at level six, and this one's going to debuff your enemies. It's going to reduce their movement speed, cast speed, attack speed, and also they will take plus five ice penetration. You can level this up with fuses to make those debuffs a little bit stronger. Here's what that would look like. It adds 0.3 to the ice penetration and you know, it's very, very, very minimal. I definitely do not recommend spending any DNA on bolstering this skill up. Simply just not worth it for that minimal effect. So here's what the skill looks like. I do have it in my bar, but I do not use it very frequently. Again, this is chill. What I like to do with it is pull up a big group of enemies and then just drop it in the middle of them to get that debuff rolling. But here you go, here's what it looks like and it grows over time. You can see they have their little debuffs over their head. There you go. Of course, we use Comet to kill them, you know, give a little bit of a teaser there for the final skill. So that is chill. Again, here's what it looks like. Debuffs your enemies, kind of cool. I really like this for when you're kiting packs of enemies and you drop it. Like if you're running the projectile build with your eye shard, you could kind of funnel them in here, block that so they're slowed, and then snipe them down while they're while you're kiting through that AoE. 
kind of cool little uh one little skill kind of could change your play style a little bit again not really worth investing dna into but still a cool little skill to have for that utility the fourth skill you're going to unlock is glacier this unlocks at level 12 and this one was really great way back in the demo however they have changed it quite a bit for the release of the game because it was causing the game to crash I think you can still use this to cause the game to crash. I don't know why you'd want to, but you have the option, I guess. And the way you would do it is by adding, I think it's three splits and a fork or something like that. Anyway, that's not the intent of the video here, but this ability has a damaging area of effect, spell damage, ice damage, and projectile. So again, you could use your cookie cutter projectiles here, your homing, fork, split, all that fun stuff. And I used it all. It's it's a cool skill. Definitely could be a main ability, I think. You can also put on your freezer for more damage, crits, cost. There's so many different options here. I don't think you really need pierce for this ability, and you'll see why here in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and show impact radius as well. I'm going to try that out here. I don't think it makes a massive difference. So here's Glacier without impact radius. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy still, too. That's what it looks like by default, but because we have that double split fuse in there, that's why it's looking all crazy. Pretty wild. Pretty awesome. My biggest issue with this ability was it kind of has two parts that hit. So you have this first area that goes through, the little small area in between, that doesn't do a lot of damage. But what does a lot of damage is that big spike at the end. So this kind of is weird if you have a bunch of enemies up in your grill and you got to just make sure you have your cursor placed on where the actual enemies are also with that in mind another fuse that i used with this ability as well was the projectile range i like to use this fuse so i could kind of have more of a gap between me and the monsters you know and then again you could use your chill you know to kind of slow them down while you're trying to hit them with your glacier but here's what uh Longer range looks like you can see definitely got a longer range. But see if they're right next to you, you just kind of don't really need that longer projectile range anyway, because they just bomb rush you anyway, so that is glacier yeah i ended up using not using the projectile range just because i felt like it was a waste of dna if it were me i'd probably go crit damage crit chance on hit and then a crit chance passively as well and that's what 90 dna and then you could wrap it up with some freezer you could do your projectile fuses all that fun stuff i guess i really didn't show what the skill starts off as default when you very first unlock glacier this is what it looks like but again ramping up those fuses there's a lot of potential here and a lot of fun that you can do with customizing glacier this is probably my second favorite ability for the ice mastery on the elementalist the fifth skill you can unlock for the ice mastery is ice wall and i was super pumped for this skill but i was really let down when i finally did unlock this at level 18. i was excited to check the skill out because it has a it's a conjuration ability first of all it's a wall and it's collidable so there's a lot of cool fuses that i had been saving up for this ability wall thickness wall length conjuration length mirror conjuration so this will i'll show you uh, what the skill looks like by default here first so this is ice wall with no fuses pretty basic skill now if we go ahead and add in our mirror conjuration right here make sure i have the right fuse here's what it looks like it'll cast in front and back pretty cool so then you can ramp it up with some more stuff you can make the uh, wall actually concave here's what that would look like pretty cool to see it concaves here so you can kind of like hide in there if you want we also got some other fun skills wall thickness conjuration length we'll throw two conjuration lengths in there uh, we will throw another concave and i think there's also like wall length as well but i don't some reason i don't have that on here so here's what it looks like with all that pretty cool so you can just kind of be chilling in here pretty awesome the other thing too is the further away you cast your cursor the further apart the actual walls are so you can see i cast it over here so they're farther apart now if i recast it here that's where i get the effect of where it's in the middle that's one thing i like about this game is your cursor placement does have an impact on your abilities last but not least and i was mostly excited for this skill right here and that is title title will actually make make your walls move 
pretty cool. I'm not sure. This wall doesn't do any damage to monsters, so I'm not sure what the point. Maybe you can push back monsters with it or something. And also you have deflect. So if I were to try to make this into my build, which I don't think I ever will, but if I wanted to, I would probably put up deflect here and this will deflect enemy projectiles. It just didn't seem very good when I used it though. The main reason being that the wall just dies really fast. I went ahead and went into a solar map just because I wanted to show you what I mean. Let's see if we can find any projectile monsters. Here we go. Here's one. I think they're... So watch the... The guy's not even shooting at me now, so it didn't even work anyway. But the walls just don't have very much health. And then let's see what it would look like with that title. Let's see if it would actually push these monsters back or not. No, it doesn't. It just goes through the monsters. So I don't know. It's the, the idea is cool on paper, but it just, I don't know. I just didn't see the point in ice wall, but that's pretty much what you can do with that ability. If it did damage, that'd be a whole nother story. Maybe this will be great. Maybe it'll be a good skill if you have a bunch of, um, enemy shooting at you and you want to kind of block out the projectiles for a little bit or something but again i think your dna would be much better used elsewhere final skill you can unlock for the ice mastery of the elementalist is the comet you need to be level 24 to unlock this skill and it has damaging area of effect spell damage ice damage melee skill and movement this is my number one favorite skill for the ice elementalist and currently i don't have any fuses on it here's what it looks like by default You can see it as a stationary jumping ability. However, if you go ahead and put on that dash fuse, of course, you can now use it for a mobility maneuver. Unless I hit the wall, there we go. There you go. You can see it works for mobility as well. Let's go ahead and juice this bad boy up. I'll go ahead and show you what it is by default with that. I, you got to have the dash fuse on there. Absolutely have to. So I went ahead and went to a solar map, of course. Here's what it looks like. Again, no fuses, just the dash on there. Pretty decent damage. Pretty decent damage for not having any fuses. Let's go ahead and fuse this bad boy up. Again, we're talking about Comet. I like to run a lot of crit and attack speed so again remember this is a melee skill so if you're using faster hits you don't want to do cast speed you want to make sure you're doing attack speed instead and then i did try impact radius which would be that area of effect tag there uh, it just didn't make that big of a difference for me instead i think i put on a crush for that shockwave damage but the problem with crush is it does lower the abilities damage but you get a shockwave which provides cleave so, and the impact radius also reduces the skill's damage as well. So, I don't know. I just prefer crush over impact radius. And of course, we're going to put our critical strike on there. You know, crits are great. You always got to do crit. You know, every action RPG is crit. You know what I mean? And then I also put a little bit of freezer on there as well. Get some more ice damage and ice spell damage as well. And then I actually, for now, I'm going double crush because it is 15 DNA, so... There you go, that's on my current comment. This is actually my current setup right now. Hopefully I'll do a more in-depth video in the future, build guide, all that fun stuff. But here you go, this is what comment looks like all juiced up. You can see it kind of glitches out, it did a little bit there. I'm actually hitting less damage with it all fused now, and I think that's due to crush uh, and some other limitations. But that's what it looks like, that's what this video is all about, was showing you the skills that you can find with the Ice Mastery for the Elementalists on Superfuse. If you enjoyed this video, I have other skill showcases for all the other masteries and classes as well. I'm currently working on a few more. I think I have two more masteries I want to do, the Minion Build and Fire Elementalists. I think I still have to do. But I have all the other ones out for all the Berserker masteries, Combat, Brute Force... and uh, lightning so if you haven't yet make sure you go check those out next i appreciate you for hanging out and hopefully you enjoyed the video if so don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below let me know what build you're playing what's your favorite setup so far as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video